Yeah, I just shaved actually. Oh, is this the new build one? Oh. She said, Don't you worry if I uh, the thing came about. Well, I was I was playing the show anyway, and I got an email saying, "Do you want to hop on Macklemore's set?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then I found out he wasn't doing a set. And then I was like, "Okay, what's going on?" And then he texted me saying, "Can we do it in your set?" And I was like, "Yeah." And now we're doing it in my set. It's a very very short story. iHeartRadio likes to do collaborations. I like Macklemore. I think he likes me. And <laughs> yeah, it was. I think it, it's making homosexuality more um, acceptable within hip hop to have one of the biggest rappers out there speak about it quite openly. I loved what he did in the Grammys. I think it's good to have songs out there, songs that make people think, songs that aren't just about having a good beat that you can dance to. Like I love those tunes as well, but it's good to have conscious messages there. But middle America, I think for me, is when you crack America. Like when, when we when we did the Taylor tour and we were playing plays places like Iowa and Kansas City and like Oklahoma. Like, I think that's when you cracked America, when you can play places like that. Because all the coast, English acts can always play on the coast, but this middle America that's like the tough bit. Uh, I think right now, if anyone was gonna play me, it'd probably be Rupert Grint, because he, he already has. Yeah, uh, he has. Already has. Uh, a biopic of my life would be a very, very, very short film. It would be like a two minute affair. It'd be like, <laughs> oh, he plays guitar, cool. Over. Like, give me like 50 years. <laughs> Awesome, alright, thanks cool. man. Thank you. Thank you.